Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and in our last video, we had this cheer, we had this MP3 that started playing the moment that we loaded our amp, our app up, and now we're going to do a little bit more with this. So we only want this audio clip to play once the button has been clicked. So let's just go ahead and cut this right out of here, and I'm going to throw it immediately on the after the unclick. So right after this button's been clicked, once this on click function is run, uh, we're gonna get this cheer start. It's giving me this underline, wanted me to change it to final. Sure, okay. So here we are, and let's run our app. I'm gonna bring my emulator up front here, and once our app loads, we're gonna get push this button, and we're gonna see what happens. So I push it and it's telling me to guess, but at the same time it's cheering. What happens if I want it to start playing again? I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click it, I'm still clicking it, and you can see it's not playing. Uh, well, that's because the audio stream doesn't recognize the start function or the start method here if it's currently playing. If your audio is playing, it's not, start doesn't mean anything to it because it's already started. So sure, you could have it maybe stop and then start, but I think what's a better way to do this is to check to see if it is playing. And if it's already playing, then we're going to set the audio position time to be zero. So that way, if we have this button, we push it and we want to push it again to get the cheering, we're gonna to check to make sure it's not already playing. And if it is, we're just gonna start it over at the beginning. So what we need to do here is write a conditional. And so let's space down here. I'm gonna write if, and then in parentheses, I'm going to say cheer dot, and you can see some of your options here is looping, is playing. Well, we actually wanna see is playing, if cheer is playing. Um, so if it's playing, so if cheer is playing, if it is, this is going to spit out true. So if it spits out true, we want it to do something. We want to say cheer dot seek to and zero. So the zero means it's gonna seek to the beginning of the song, so or the track, the audio file here. So if the audio file is currently playing, go to the beginning, and then we'll add an else, and then right in here, let's tab this over, just like that. So if it's playing, then if it's already playing, then go to the beginning, otherwise start it. So let's save this and let's try to run this. Okay, so I'm gonna click and every single time I click this, it's gonna start the audio sample over. Perfect. So that's some way that you can make sure that your audio file is not only playing. Let's say if you had an app that was triggering like a drum drum hit or something, you want when they pushed a button that was shaped like a drum or anything, it would make a drum sound. Well, you would want to check this because you would of course want them to be able to keep hitting it as fast as they wanted to so the audio would keep coming as fast as you could click it. So this is just a particular instance that this might be useful to you. So sure, in this app, pushing a button to get cheering doesn't really work. So let's do something here and let's grab this whole big chunk here and we're gonna throw it right under this if statement. And so now if the user user's guess is the same as Rando's, has got it right. It's gonna check to see if it's uh, the cheer is already playing and if it is, it's gonna go to the beginning. Otherwise, it's going to start playing our cheer. So let's fire up our app here and let's check it out. Make sure it works. Cool. 
cool. So now, 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 well, not only do I get the gratification of getting this, you got it right, but I also get this thunderous applause for my efforts. So cool, we have an app that now does something with our audio, and it's useful, and it makes sense, and and we learn a lot. You know, we can start audio, and if you've guessed that if you want to stop audio, your command is cheer.stop, then you would be right. So you learned all sorts about audio and getting it to work and interact with your app. As always, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the video below. Hit us up at Twitter, level up Tuts. You can hit us up on Facebook. We're on Google Plus a little bit. I, you know, all these things, there's so many things to check, and this isn't our full-time job. So we're going to check these as much as we can. We're going to reply to you when we can. But as always, you know, we get a little overwhelmed. But please leave a comment. If we can't get to it, hopefully one of our viewers will who has the same problem or has seen this problem. So as always, thanks for watching. This is Scott, and have a good one.